Adobe has many apps to help you create the best illustrations and animations possible. I'm going to explain all of them and how they work together in a creative workflow. Let's start with the illustration apps, Illustrator, Fresco, and Photoshop. Illustrator is the industry standard vector graphics software used by designers and artists to create anything from web and mobile graphics to logos, icons, book illustrations, product packaging, and billboards. Because it uses vectors, which is art stored as paths, rather than as pixels, it can be scaled up infinitely without any loss of resolution. Illustrator is particularly great for precise illustrations, where you can tweak every Bezier handle to get the perfect curve and make sure your illustrations are pixel perfect. It suits geometric style illustration as well because of how in-depth and intuitive its shape and pathfinder tools are. And also, Illustrator is coming to the iPad as well. Fresco is built for the latest stylus and touch devices. It brings together the world's largest collection of vector and raster brushes, plus new live brushes that give realistic oil and watercolor effects to deliver the most natural painting and drawing experience. This is the app to use if you want the closest digital experience to traditional illustration. Photoshop is raster based and has a huge library of brushes and tools to create stunning illustrations, digital paintings, concept art, and even animation. And because Photoshop has so many tools for image manipulation and effects, you can create your illustrations with layers in a really non-destructive way. That way, when you want to make changes, it's really easy to change and tweak individual elements without having to redo large areas of your work. In a typical animation workflow, you would create your designs and illustrations usually in either Illustrator or Photoshop or perhaps both, and then import them into your animation app for animating and creating motion. These animation apps do have design tools as well. You have pen tools, text tools, shape tools, but they're more focused on animating and not really illustrating. So it's definitely best to create your designs first inside either Illustrator or Photoshop. Now the animation apps, After Effects, Animate, Character Animator, Premiere Pro, and Photoshop. After Effects is the go-to motion graphics and visual effects software. It is perfect if you're wanting to create animation, motion design, combine videos and images, or just take your footage to the next level with amazing effects. After Effects motion graphics tools allow you to create stunning work easily and place that into real world footage. You can also create fully controllable rigged characters for an animated series. After Effects is the best place to start if you're a designer or illustrator wanting to get into animation. Adobe Animate, formerly known as Adobe Flash, allows you to create HTML web banners, interactive animations for games, TV shows, or the web. You can create frame-by-frame -frame animated cartoons, animated avatars, and quickly publish to multiple platforms in just about any format. In an animation workflow, Animate is typically used for its frame-by-frame -frame animation, which can be scaled up infinitely because it is vector-based. Character Animator uses your expressions and movements to animate characters in real time. It's so fast that you can live stream with an animated avatar. Using your camera and microphone, Character Animator matches your expressions from syncing lips to tracking your eyes. And you can even design your own character and speed up the animation process by recording its performance live. Premiere Pro is of course primarily an editing application, so that's where its strengths lie. But you can also create animated titles, transitions, and basic effects as well without having to jump into After Effects. It's also definitely worth mentioning that you can create complex motion graphics templates called Mogut in After Effects for use in Premiere Pro as well for a really streamlined workflow. Photoshop, you might not know, has a video timeline as well, so you can animate inside of Photoshop. You can add basic keyframes to layers, but where it really shines is frame-by-frame -frame animation. And because it has that huge library of brushes, the best of any frame-by-frame -frame animation software, it is often used at the end of the process to add those final hand-drawn touches. You can also create animated GIFs quickly, easily, and have the most control as you export them. All of these illustration and animation tools work together in the Creative Cloud ecosystem so you can move seamlessly throughout your workflow without having to make any compromises to your work.